Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Do I get to pick out my own fancy outfit? Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. You mean I can't just wear a bandolier on the riverboat? Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. My town suit, sir. Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Is that the one I can pick? It's not that bad. I'd rather it be like red or something, but that's okay. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Barber? Can't you think and walk at the same time? Herr Strauss has soaked the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, <laughs> they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. But I like my facial hair. I like what I got going on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. <laughs> well, very good, sir. He's such no, a slick talker. It's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him too much. I like my style. I need a haircut anyway, there, so. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Okay. Grand Corrigan, sir. Let's see how this well, plays out. Look at you, from Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't bring him up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. <laughs> Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. 
Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make Man's sure got connections. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. I'm sorry, no weapons? Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Oh my goodness. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Hello, dear boy. Hello. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. That was a high-quality shot. Good time, but don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Where Arthur. Let's go enjoy ourselves, shall we? With your name on it, sir. Are you joining us? Yes, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. <laughs> evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Tips oh my goodness! Up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? That is a lot of Wait, money. Not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but. Yes, you should have. <laughs> Shots to signal the fool. So, call. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. And up we go. Build me a nice big pile. Oh, I'm in. Call. How did I end up at this table? I'd have more fun throwing my money overboard. Call, I guess. Yes, call. Oh my goodness. I played plenty of poker. Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. With the gambler we'll challenges. But this is a lot Damn. of money. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. That's crazy. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> so, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? Oh, says I'm list. an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Let's up the stage. Raise about 30. Raise, or oh. is that too high for you? I like a confident man, Mr. Blythe. 
think he said keep betting. Or to call. This is gonna be a long game. Whenever you're ready, right. sir. Yeah, he nodded. Raise. I'll call. All right. A pair of queens. That's not bad. With a jack and a okay, ten. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. All right, he's just set to do it. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Hmm. Oh wait, it's the game's rigged, so it doesn't matter how good I'm doing. Obviously, Shit. I'm gonna do good. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with? Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. Ooh. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Harry Kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Boy. All right. All in. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these mean? out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Yes, sir, man I've never met before. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Noted. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Same thing that looks pretty. Can't pay attention while I'm walking. Second, of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Shouldn't have shown it. Right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's <laughs> let's get it all. Idiot, huh? Ah, shit! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. 
Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Can I take the gun? Damn. I was kind of hoping it'd be like a special one. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. I tried to only shoot his hand, but I guess I killed him. That's unfortunate. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Oh. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look. There's your friend. My friend is enough for no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. I'm sorry, what about me? There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Maybe I should have killed him. swimming back to St. Denis. <laughs> what the hell? Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? I hope someone punches him. thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> I feel like that was pretty good. We caught a couple extra thousand dollars and a nice Rutlinger. <laughs> Make sure I hold on to that for myself there. So basically we had to deal with Cornwall again. Then we had the riverboat. And then next we gotta to talk to Dutch. It's been about six months since I last played Red Dead because of the fact of life just happening. Uh, move some things around. We got a new setup. Got an actual cowboy hat now. And also just How do you do, playing newer games to just give the channel more love. And just trying to like broaden the horizon of what I do here. But we're back at it with Arthur again. We just finished blowing up the oil fields for Cornwall. And then we just robbed the riverboat. And then the next step is to talk to Dutch. Yeah, he's right through it. Right. Let's go talk to him. I've missed Daddy Dutch. Got 
got inside his head? Who knows? Who are you talking about, Dutch? There you Gentlemen. Go. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need <laughs> to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are going to rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Oh, we're doing Ladies this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. All right. Hand over Mr. all your money now. Leave these fine folks Quick. of their valuables. Okay. Mr. Ed, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. Oh, so much for getting my... Let my acquaintance inside. Get Here my honor up. It ain't worth dying over. Of course, of I course, just take open it. Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Did I just rob everybody in here? Come on. These people are in to part with their value. Okay. Give me everything you got. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Where's Lenny? There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Open the damn door. Let's go. Check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! All right. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! Uh -oh. That greasy on, son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. <laughs> Don't do, gentlemen. Something. Yeah. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now. I figured we were probably being sent up when he was telling us about it. I don't. I didn't trust him from the start. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Where am I shooting at? Who am I shooting at? What's going on? Ooh, let's go, baby. Out of the bank on the right. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. Outside the saloon. Oh, damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. I'm sorry, we what? I'll try. Uh huh. <laughs> we got a problem. Hold on! Oh! Shit! <sighs> 
Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I don't have my rifle! Where you going, buddy? Ooh, bullseye. This is really bad. I don't have my rifle. I'm not good with the pistol. <sighs> Sorry, Lenny. Okay, yeah, this is this is not good at all. You know what? I'll go restart the mission, make sure I have my rifle on me, like when I go talk to Dutch. That way I can actually do something. That's not my gun. There it is, the rolling block. Don't want the gold on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I invested in this gun. Why don't you put that gun away, huh? Yes, sir. There they are. All right, I got my rifle. About time I got to work with Lenny again. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money. All right. To the shootout. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, do I have anything for my? I need something to restore my dead eye. Ooh. All right, give me my rolling block rifle. Let's get this party started. Excuse me, Lenny. Ooh, nice. Dead or alive, too. All right, who else we got? No. Oh. All right. That was a cool picture. Who else is there? Oh, all right. Oh, wait for me. Dutch will get you out of here. Look out! The roll. Oh, stay with me. Our CO goes jump 
encompassing camp now. This we need to wait. Go. We'll wake up after. Get the hell out of here. Let's move up, Dutch. Turn around. Eyes up. On the balcony. Which balcony? Okay, boss. Let's move. Go right. Oh. Oh, I almost shot Lenny. Uh, give me my shotgun. Ooh. Talk about a hip shot. All right, back to my rolling block rifle. Shot the pole and his hat and his mustache. Let's go. That guy kind of looked like Bill. Someone's shooting from a balcony. Hurry up. We need to All get right. out of here now. You okay, Doug? Took a real bang on the head back there. I'm seeing three of everything. If you stay down, and I'll hold him off. Coming from behind us. Get rid of them. Look. Okay. All right. I guess I'm not the one driving we here. Can't get this guy because of Lenny. Got him. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot him, but I'll take it. Why is it that everywhere we go, we're always being chased off by some law? Are we the baddies? Back to shotgun. Head for the bridge. Boy, you ain't getting away from me. Let's go, baby. Damn! They blocked the road. Hold on. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Oh. Shit, it's the law. Continued free fire. <gasps> We're through. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. 165? I mean, I could pay that, but still, that's a lot. Like, especially in these times. I remember in the beginning of the game, that was like a small fortune. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh. And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. <laughs> Shut up, Arthur. <laughs> Set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. I'll say we dethroned this king. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. 
No. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. 